So next part we'll do in 11.8, we'll look at spherical coordinates. We just got done looking at cylindrical. Let's look at spherical. These are for surfaces with symmetry around the origin. And we're going to use rho, theta, and phi. Now, theta remains the same. It's our angle from starting at the positive x-axis rotated in the y direction. R, we're still going to use R in our calculations because uh, we've done that before. We've got a vertical height z, and it's coming up to a point on the circle that's pointing away from me. The way we get phi is it's rotated. It starts at zero degrees along the positive z axis, and it rotates downward. It maxes out when we get to the negative z axis for pi radians. So we do have the restrictions where theta or phi has got to be between zero and pi. Rho is going to be our radius from the origin or the center of the sphere to a point on the surface of the sphere, uh, which is different than R. R is just the, in the uh, hemisphere or the like the circular plane section cut, cutting the circle in half. So another way of looking at it, that triangle is right here, what we're doing. Uh, if we, the theta, we already know, we've got this triangle, which is right here. I'm redrawing this triangle right here. The angle between R and Z makes a right angle. This angle coming off of the Z axis down to our uh, radius row to the edge of the sphere is there and with a little bit of geometry, the alternate interior angles, this is also phi. And it allows us to help calculate some of the stuff. We know any point on the surface of the sphere has gotta be x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals the radius squared. And we're using rho for the radius. I don't know why they chose rho uh, since rho is density in physics. It seems like a bad choice to me, but it's been in play for a while and we can't rewrite mathematics for everyone in the world. Uh, we know x squared plus y squared is r squared, so we could look at rho squared in terms of that. Uh, if we look at our triangle here, we can see that cosine phi is adjacent over hypotenuse, z over rho, and sine phi is opposite over hypotenuse, or r over rho. The cosine phi statement, if we solve for z, we get z equals rho cosine phi. And if I solve for r in the sine theta or sine phi equation, I get r equals rho sine phi. We can plug those into x and find x and y that way. x is r cosine theta, but we know r is rho sine phi. So we place rho sine phi with r. And we get x equals rho sine phi cosine theta. And the same way we've got y equals r sine theta, we substitute rho sine phi for r. We get y equals rho sine phi sine theta. Z, we've already got from this equation here uh, in terms of cylindrical. So we've got x, y, and z. We've got a way to convert back and forth between them. Let's take a look at doing that uh, in some problems. So let's start off with uh, one root three, negative two in the Cartesian and convert it to spherical. So we know rho squared is each of the values squared sum of uh, one squared and root three squared and negative two squared. We've got one plus three plus four is eight. So rho squared equals eight, rho equals two root two, which is square root of eight. Uh, so we got rho, we need theta and we need phi. Theta still stays tangent inverse y over x. So we plug that in here, we get the, the pi over three that we had before. Tangent inverse of root three is pi over three. And when we look at phi, cos, phi equals cosine inverse of z over rho. 
If I plug in z over rho, I've got negative two over two root two. I'm left with phi equals cosine inverse of negative one over square root of two. Uh, keep in mind this, this is negative root two over two when we rationalize it inside there. If that happens along one of the 45 degree lines, the pi over four lines. With it being negative, it occurs at phi equals three pi over four and five pi over four. But B is restricted. B is restricted to being less than pi. So we ignore the five pi over four. I'll write it in the notes and cross it out by B restrictions. So I've got rho is square root or two root two. I've got theta is pi over three, and I've got phi is three pi over four. And spherical coordinates, we've got, that's our setup. Remember, we've got rho, theta, phi. And we took a look at that table in the previous one. We will stop this video for now and we'll do another video for the next section.